Hello and welcome back to another Pro Tipster Football Show. We're back again with another combined 11. Today's match that we're going to be looking at is Chelsea taking on Leicester on Saturday at 3pm UK kickoff time. Uh, I'm joined by Pro Tipster Dan and Pro Tipster Martin, so we're going to take a look at both squads, pick our best starting 11. The rules are very, very simple. We can't have injured or suspended players and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, we've got to pick our best 11. And, uh, yeah, let's start off with the formation because I know I've been leaving those out. We're going with um, uh, Swan that uh, Conte, Antonio Conte, Chelsea manager, used a while ago. We're going with two. Sorry, we're going with three, four, two, one. Yeah, count it. It makes ten. Trust us. Um, Martin, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, thanks, buddy. Not bad at all. Very good. Dan, how are you? Hi, you know, different day, same crap. All the very just adapt. <laughs> Very good. Right then, sure. Uh, you looking forward to this match? I'm actually. Um, I think it'll be. A, I mean, it's more, more one of the more intriguing ones of the weekend, anyway. That's for sure. Yeah, look, the biggest match is obviously uh, uh, Liverpool and, and City, but we, we've done them to death as it is, uh, listeners, so we decided to go with, uh, with the second best game of the weekend, I suppose. Um, so I suppose we'll just start off then. Uh, we've, we're all agreed on goalkeepers. Uh, is there is there even any argument to be made for Schmeichel? Um, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that bad. Yes, he could keep. But Thibaut Courtois is like one of the best there is. Yeah. Uh, have you? St- I don't know if you've, if you've seen it last last week. Uh, Courtois had was asked something about his contract, and he said, "Yeah, I'm going to sign a new contract when Hazard and Hazard sign his contract because we're egging each other on, and no one's doing it yet." <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, we're going to end up leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them then, and must be off to because Courtois is rumored to go to Real as well, isn't he? Yeah, there. Um, uh, Real was supposed to be signing a keeper called Kepa, uh, but that's been held up because he's got. Uh, he apparently needs uh, an operation, so I could see the Courtois rumors kicking up again. Okay, fair enough. Although Zidane did say he didn't need any more. <laughs> he did actually. Yeah, that but was interesting. Uh, like I say, Courtois a Atletico Madrid boy, isn't he? So, would that be a bit controversial? Mm, maybe. Yeah. It would be, but it, it's happened a good, a good few times in the past. As long as there's no transfers between the club, you can go somewhere else in between. You know? Um but I suppose, yeah. Uh, yeah, just a reminder, listeners as well, uh, you can, uh, we released this as a, as a video podcast where we put up the graphics of the formation and, uh, and, and the shirts of the players as they're revealed. So check that out, uh, on YouTube or up on Facebook as well. We'll have the videos up there. Um, now we have differing opinions on our back three. So, uh, Martin, let's start with you. Who have you gone for? Uh, going for Azpilicueta, Maguire, and Christensen. Dan, what's yours? Uh, Azpilicueta, Maguire, and Gary Cahill. I'm going to say it that way just to annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Cal. <laughs> mm, uh, I've gone for Wes Morgan, Gary Cal, and Andres Christian. Okay, Stuart Inquiry, Wes Morgan's injured. Is he? <laughs> oh, I didn't see yeah. that. Okay, yeah, then, so he has According to physioroom.com, he's out with a hamstring injury till January the 27th. Oh, he's not that yeah. good anyway, is he? He's, I mean, he did well when they won the league, but, I mean... Johnny Ball is that good, he'd play for England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could play for England, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> How are you reading up? Uh, um... I wanted them in just because just the not to have so many Chelsea players because uh, I have a strong dislike of Chelsea. I, I really like Antonio Conte, but I don't really like Chelsea. And um, yeah, what do you think of Harry Maguire? Why didn't you why didn't you put him in? There? Uh, it's uh, anti-English bias, basically, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, seeing seeing a, a, a man uh, named Maguire playing for England, it's it's like a man called Rooney playing for England <laughs> or a man called so Cal. Good. Playing for England, or you know, you, you just take all our best, our best named players. Danny Murphy, you know, Daniel Murphy. How is he English? That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, 
So yeah, Harry Maguire. Yeah, best of luck play for England, man. But uh, yeah, you're dead to me, you know. Yeah, um, no, look. Uh, to be honest, Maguire, I think he's okay, but uh, I'm not as I'm not on the bandwagon yet. Um, uh, I'm not sure if he's just having a purple patch now. Uh, kind of remains to be seen for me. Uh, give him another. If he comes through next season as good as this one, then yeah, definitely I I would have him uh, in the team. All right, but not yet. I I I I I, I don't know. I'm still not sure. Yeah, he's still young. He's out of 24, though. I think already at 15 million or whatever it was. He's looking at an absolute bargain. It's done Actually, talking about, talking about bargains and that, Cesar Aspilicuesta, one of the most underrated players in the Premier League. It must be yes, something to do with his name. I think he is. People yeah, don't want to talk crossed. about him because of his, his, his name. And did, don't, didn't they, didn't John Terry christen him Dave? At Chelsea? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <died>. die. But, <laughs> he, he doesn't, uh, only recently he missed his first minutes of a Chelsea match. He doesn't miss games. He's, he's so reliable. Yeah, so, so I, reliable I, for I him. think he's better at the back as well in a centre mid, that uh, centre defence pairing rather than on the right or the left. You reckon yeah, he's a better sure. centre back, yeah? I think so. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. I think he's definitely helped Chelsea be moving into the middle yeah. rather than playing to uh, rather than playing to right back. Well, he made my team, but just not not in the back three. I had him as a wing as a wing back. Now you haven't gone. No, have you? No, you stayed. Okay, no, no. I'm looking to this a bit further. Right. So look, we're gonna have to come to some consensus here. Uh, as Pilaqueta. Uh, yeah, you both have picked him. Uh, Gary Carl has to go in because he's just Gary Carl. He's a good player. He scores goals. Um, Next pick, Aston Villa player as well. I suppose. Yeah, even in, yeah, it's a DVB, but <laughs> and he's supposed to come to us as well. But um, he turned us down, so you know. Yeah, <laughs> but he's a good player, and he's good enough to um to 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 cancel that. So then, the last one then, are we going to go with Maguire or Christensen? Oh, that is a tough one. I've been very impressed with Christensen this season, uh, but he's only 21 and still still learning the game. I think, I think personally, I think Maguire's just ahead of him, but um, he's, he's one of the success stories of the season for me, uh, for Chelsea. At least, just signing new contracts, and I think I think the experience on loan at Mushin Gladbach um, recently for him has, has done him the world of good, and yeah, he's he's flourishing in the Chelsea defence at the minute. But I don't know, it's a tough one. Him or Maguire? That's a, that is a very good question. I uh, think Maguire, yeah, surely just mix it up a bit because otherwise this team can be very Chelsea heavy. <laughs> <laughs> right then, we'll give you give you Maguire then. So uh, Courtois, Aspilicueta, Dave. Uh, Cal and Maguire. Let's look at our midfields then. Uh, I'll give you what I have first. So I've gone with uh, wingbacks. Uh, Marcus Alonso on the left. Uh, Dave here, Aspilicueta on the right. Fabregas and Kante. You know, I, I didn't really like the look of my team when I was finished with it because it's very defensive. You know, I've four, seven, <coughs> seven defenders and three forwards. I, was, I wasn't happy Ooh. with mine at all. Uh, Dan, what have you gone with here? Um, Marcus Alonso on the left. Uh, Fabregas and Kante in the middle, and um, as a as an oddball, Damari Gray on the right. I would also, um, I think you're not right. I, look at the goals Marcus Alonso scored recently. He's not that yeah. defensive. Fabregas plays up front sometimes for Spain. He's not that defensive. Yeah. So I, my my team's pretty attacking. Dimi Gray is not really right wing back, but I think he could do a similar job to what Victor Moses did uh, does for Chelsea. And I've got to get an ex-Bone City player in there if I can, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Martin, what was yours? Um, I've gone for wing-backs as well. With Marcus Alonso is the obvious choice so on the left. Um, I don't think anyone anyone beats him. I've gone for all Brighton on the right as a wing-back, um, primarily to annoy Dan because he used to play for Aston Villa. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I, I think, um, I don't know, you compare him to Gray, yes. He, I don't think he's as good going forward, but I think he's better defensively in that kind of position. Um, already scored two goals and got six assists this season already for Leicester, so that's that's pretty decent. Uh, and I think it's better than Moses uh, personally. And in the middle, uh, again, I agree with you guys. I go for Fabregas and Kante just to mix it up a bit. I think Fabregas for me, it's a shame he doesn't get more game time because I think I think it's Chelsea's Kevin De Bruyne. He, he can pick a pass from anywhere. Um, they should play him more, but I know that they've been playing Bakayoko of late. 
to keep it a bit more defensive in the middle of the park, but I'd like to see Fabregas get more game time, to be honest. Yeah, let's uh, let's let, let's praise uh, N'Golo Kante for a minute. Isn't he just awesome? Unbelievable. Yeah, I think he was the reason Leicester won the title, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people would say Mares or Vardy, but I think Kante was the real reason they won it. Um, what was what was the stat? Um, Seventy percent of the world's surface is covered by water; the rest is covered by N'Golo Kante. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant, and. Uh, yeah, he just just goes about his thing, you know. He's like he uh, he very rarely plays badly, but he, the only time you kind of notice him is when he plays badly because he's just so he's just clockwork. You know? Yeah, he's not he's not one that always stands out on the pitch, but he always does a job, doesn't he? Yeah. That's because um, he's tiny, isn't he? He's hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> he's only wee. Um, uh, let me see then. So look, we did. We all picked Alonso. We all picked Kante and Fabregas here as well. The only difference we all had, we we, all, we were all different on on what we picked. Uh, the other wing back. Um, I went uh, as Bill Equator, but he's already in the team, so that's mine gone. It's between you lads then, Demary Gray and uh, Albrighton. So uh, you know, fight, make your cases. <laughs> Well, this is just what I said earlier. I think, I think on the right, in a, in that formation, I think Albrighton's better defensively. Um, and he's not bad going forward, but Amari Gray is the better player, in my opinion. Um, I just think Albrighton's better suited in that specific position. But what do you think, Dan? Um, I think Gray, I, I'm going from my experience with Gray playing Birmingham City. Gray's very disciplined as a player. He'll track back and he'll help his, uh, help his defender. Um, he's got blistering pace going forwards. He's improved so much as well since he's moved to Leicester. Now he's getting regular game time. You can see he's kicking on again. He's getting better and better. Whereas, um, Albrighton's a DVB. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think Paddy, yeah. the only solution, the only solution <laughs> if I think Albrighton and Dan thinks, uh, Damari Gray, then you've got to make the deciding choice. Uh, well, in, Martin, I'm gonna use a little bit of your argument against you, because you said Gray is the better player, but Albrighton is better in this position, but, you know, it's, it's, is it really about positions with us? Regular listeners will know, it's the formation is basically there just so we can get in as many good players as possible, so, if we wanna get in as good many players as possible, then we have to go with, with Dan's choice then. Fair enough. Know. Yeah, one DV being in the team's enough, thank you. <laughs> I'm too far away to argue that properly. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. This this might get a bit boring, but uh, we've all we've gone for the same front uh, front uh, two and no we haven't we haven't I I've gone for something different so we've gone for the same uh, uh, two uh, my striker is different uh, let's pick one each Martin tell us all about Riyad Mahrez why you picked him uh, because he's unbe- unbelievably good there's no other explanation he's 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 just an absolute delight to watch on his day. He has he had a bit of a sticky patch a while ago when he didn't look like he could be got bothered and he looked like he was, I don't know, trying to force a move out or something like that. But now uh, under Claude Puel, he's, he's playing a little bit further forward in this type of position that we put him in. And yeah, I think he's back to his best and probably, you know, um, likes of Chelsea maybe might be interested in him. Um, I just don't think there's anyone better in the Premier League alongside Hazard in, in this kind of position. Who else would, would even have a shout here? Would Pedro? No. No. William, maybe. William? Maybe. But when you've got Morris and, 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 and Hazard, who else are you going to pick? Yeah. You know, two of the, two of the consistently best performers in the Premier League at, yeah. you know, in the last couple of years. So that's what it is basically, isn't it? It is exactly that. Both of them sort of carry their teams half the time as well. Like they, you know, if they both play well, then their teams more often than not end up winning. Dan, is, Dan, is there any way of stopping Hazard? Um, tempting with a tempting with a transfer contract. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think he went through a sticky patch with Chelsea, and yeah. he looked like he was going elsewhere, and he wasn't. His his brain didn't seem to, his mind didn't seem to be on it. 
And I think he, um, I mean, cause there was all that stuff about him being a snake and I think he yeah. fell out from Mourinho a little bit and I think he's one of those players you've got to manage carefully because if he doesn't want to know, he just does not want to know. He's yeah. come a long way since kicking that Swansea ball boy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Never forgive. Never forget. Yeah. Um, he's amazing. Um, do you think he'll go to, to Madrid in the summer? Uh, potentially. I, I personally think with Chelsea, you need to, he, you need to win a trophy every season to keep players like Ed and Hazard. And I fear that they're not going to win anything this year, which will, uh, end up seeing them lose Hazard potentially. Yeah, they'll probably try and hold off as long as possible. Wait till after the World Cup and add on another fifty. It depends on how much he's worth, though. In this in this day and age, like what what price would you put on him? Uh, what's that worth? I'd, I'd pay at least as much as Coutinho. Yeah. So one hundred and forty million. What's that? There's a, there's a there's a decent website, transfermarket.de, isn't it? It's a German. That's a lot. Uh, it's okay. It's not brilliant. Yeah, I don't think the values are very accurate. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me look quickly. Uh, I don't speak German. <laughs> uh, the UK. Let me see what Hazard is here at anyway. But yeah, I, I'd agree with Dan. I, I'd say it's at least worth the same as Coutinho, you know, if, if not slightly more. I don't, I, I don't actually know who's the older player. I think Hazard's slightly younger, isn't he? Uh, well, he's contracted until 20. No, no, no. Hazard's what, 27? Is oh, is he, is he that old? Yeah. yeah. 1991, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, they're saying his market value is ninety. Ninety million pound is what it has there, but it, it would be obviously a hell of a lot more than that. At least one hundred and fifty if Coutinho is one hundred and forty. <laughs> you know, it'd be more, one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy. But um, I don't know. I uh, I I, I don't know. it'll. I'd say Gareth Bale will have to go if Hazard comes in. I think, or maybe, yeah, or maybe, maybe it'll be Ronaldo will go. Uh, <coughs> Hazard and Bale. Maybe Paul we'll Benzema. He's not done much recently, is he? No, it's it's isn't it strange that they they won't get rid of him, Benzema? He's not done that for a while now. Uh, he must he must have some inside info on somebody there, surely. But everyone has loads know, of inside info on. It's, everyone has yeah. loads of info inside info on him. He's the dark bird. <laughs> I know. Going off with little young, underage. I, we're probably not allowed to talk about stuff like this, are we? Uh, <laughs> let's move on quickly then. And, um, yeah, we've all, so we've gone for, we've all gone for, we've both gone for, uh, the three of us, sorry, we've gone for, uh, Eden Hazard, Riyad Mahrez. Um, you don't think Mahrez is off to Liverpool, Martin? I can't, I, I just can't see him slotting in there. No, unfortunately. I think, I think he's more suited to like a Chelsea or someone. And I, I, I won't, Please, Pedro or Willian, me saying that, but not that they're listening anyway. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's more suited to a Chelsea than a Liverpool. I can't see him at Liverpool, to be honest. Fair enough. Uh, now, uh, strikers, uh, uh, one striker we have. Who've we gone for, Dan? Alvaro Morata. Why so? Um, why so? Because Jamie Vardy's a slight bounce. So, um, if you remember, I said last week you can have Coutinho and Salah. Neither mm-hmm. played. Um, yeah, uh, Vardy's a slight bounce for the weekend, so under the rules, not sure we can consider him. And I do like Shinji Okazaki. I really do. But he's not in the same class as Morata. I know Morata's had like a, he had a dodgy game against Arsenal. Probably should have scored more, but he's a, a good striker. And uh, the only other one Chelsea have got, which is uh, Mickey Batchway, um <laughs> No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Martin, uh, what's your uh, logic here? Yeah, similar logic, really. Um, Vardy is a doubt, so that kind of bumps Morata up a little bit based on the rules that we deploy here. Um, I just think he's a little bit better at holding up the ball, better in the air, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe like he's starting Vardy's, Vardy's game is starting to be found out in terms of there's more sweeper keepers coming into the league where he loves to run in behind and it, you know, he, it's not really working as much at the minute. I, I did go for Vardy, uh, just because based on, based on form, now Murat is definitely the better player. Like, I've seen him in the flesh play a couple of well, times. Well, there, there's your answer straight there. If you're going to consider all, all Brighton and Damari great, then that's Murat. Done. Yeah, done. Done yourself. Yeah, <laughs> just fair enough. I can't even, you're not even, you're not even going to let me try and make an argument, are you? Uh, let me have a look here at the, 
uh, quick here for comparison uh, Matrix and Squawker. I really like this. Uh, uh, Vardy now? I actually yeah. think that, that Murata and Vardy up front together would work quite well. Oh, wouldn't it? That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let me see the English Premier League. Uh, so, uh, so I have the Squawk and Comparison Matrix open here, lads. What stats should I add? Um, the goals scored obviously has to go in. Uh, so 10 and 9 they have. Do it. Does this have a shots comparison? Uh, total shot. That's a Mr. Bucket lady, I don't know what you mean, so. Shot accuracy, where's that now? This is the <laughs> Slip that one in there, because yeah. you know the stats, the accuracy. So, what else do we need here? What else other stats would be good? Um, <coughs> goals, that goals scored. Conceded, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Tag, uh, uh, they're the important ones. So, uh, goals scored between the two of them, so, uh, 10. And nine, Morata's first there. Total shots, 59 for Alvaro Morata, 34 for Vardy. Shot accuracy, 55% for Morata and 62% uh, for Jamie Vardy. Um, yeah, so look, I'm not going to win this one when I'm outvoted 2-1 to one anyway, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I like Vardy. I, I do like Morata, but Morata was a lot better at Juventus. And he wasn't good at uh, at Real at all. He wasn't really given uh, a chance uh, at Real. He only played in the, in the, the you know cup games uh, and 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 against the Mickey Mouse teams at the bottom of the league. Zidane didn't fancy him at all. It was a shame because at Juventus he was he was fantastic. He scored he scored in the Champions League against Barcelona. He he scored the goal that put out. Real Madrid in the semi final on the way to the final. Uh, it's a shame how he was treated by a. Uh, by uh, by Real, but they just he just Zidane loves Karim Benzema, you know. Um, but yeah, Murata's the better player, so uh, he's got to go in. Simple as that. If you have any betting questions you'd like to ask, don't be shy. Get in touch with Patty, Martin, or Dan on Twitter. Pro Tipster I R L, Pro Tipster E N, or Pro Tipster D A N, or on Facebook at Pro Tipster U K. So uh, let me run through the team then. Goalkeeper Tiwo T- Cordoba. Uh, our back three is uh, Dave, uh, Gary, uh, Caesar, Aspilicueta, Gary Cal, uh, Harry Maguire. Then our uh, four in midfield: Demari Gray, Cesc Fabregas, and Golo Kante, uh, Marcos Alonso. Our front three: Then Eden Hazard, Riyad Mahrez, and Alvaro Morata. Lads, have you taken a look at uh, Lad Anton for this match yet? Any, uh, and, and you've picked. <laughs> I can give you the odds here quickly. Uh, the odds. I think it's too early. Too early for you. Yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea are quite short, so you know, could be worth taking that strong handicap. But yeah, it's too early at the minute. One for Chelsea. Ch- um, we've actually got Chelsea to play tonight as well against uh, Arsenal in the uh, League Cup. Yeah, good point. This is cool. Yeah, you roll about that. What What did you pick from that, Dan? Um, I didn't. I didn't uh, post picking that article, but between the two, I'm going with Chelsea because. Arsenal have got too many injuries, and I think Wenger is slowly losing his grip. He's um, losing the plot. I mean. Yeah, I think. Well, he's, he's going down the Mourinho route of losing the plot and blaming everything but himself yeah. for the situation he's in. Like, remember when Mourinho uh, kind of lost the plot at Chelsea before he got fired? Yeah. And like Wenger's t- doing the same. You know, he's been going off about referees. Like, referees not even in games involving Arsenal. Um, and yeah, you know, he, he served suspensions before, but I get the impression that he's, um, it, it's too much for him. And then you look at Arsenal's injuries. Um, their defence is just like rocks at the moment. You know, Mustafi's out. Um, I kind of see that he's out and I really like him. I think, I think he's been a great signing for them. Um, Kishelny, obviously, he's a major doubt. Monreal's uh, out. Giroud's uh, got a hamstring injury. Ramsey's got a hamstring injury, so you know the, the team's just decimated at the moment. So yeah, I'm all over Chelsea tonight. Good stuff for me. Uh... Yeah, right. Uh, fair enough. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, then, lads, isn't it? Until uh, we'll we'll be back uh, tomorrow with our normal podcast, where we we'll be looking forward to uh, the best of Premier League, Championship, and European football action is. So, uh, Martin, can you remind us where you are on the internet, please? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at ProTipster.eng uh, and on Facebook at ProTipster.martin, three separate words. Hey, Dan, and where are you? Uh, ProTipster.dan on Twitter, all one word. 
and Project Sudan on Facebook. Um, all one word. Cool. Um, you can also find us in the Facebook groups. Yes, um, chat to us on our Facebook Live. Watch our new transfer videos that we've been doing. Yeah, the best way of getting in touch with us then, everyone, is you can go to uh, Facebook and have a look for Pro Tipster UK. We're all usually lurking around there. You can send us in your betting questions, your combined 11 teams, at and all. We're also putting out daily uh, tip of the day videos up there as well, where we're live streaming our tips. We're usually putting up two to three of those per day. And, you know, from time to time, we'll all drop in and have a, a chat there with another live stream video as well. Right, we'll be back tomorrow then with another pro tips to show so for me and the lads good luck thanks for listening everybody don't forget to check out protipster.com where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips check us out on youtube and instagram our handles there are pro tipster global or get in touch on twitter pro tipster en or pro tipster irl bye